Hey guys, CBP Man here, and today we're going to review the Plantronics B8200. These are one of the most advanced headphones I've reviewed on the channel. Let's go ahead and check them out. Now, more and more, we're starting to see office spaces that are open and without any kind of walls. So more employees are working in these common areas, they're having co phone calls, they're actually doing their work, and what becomes a challenge is how do you get your own virtual personal space? How do you focus on the work that you're doing? And the Plantronics B8200 um, actually do a phenomenal job at solving that. Not only are they great for those open office environments, but they're also great for commutes, for being on the plane, for even uh, you know just using them casually. So what I have found, and I personally do this, is I have in my bag a personal, um, I would say, entertainment headphone, and then I have a business headphone, and I'm going to show it to you in a second. So I carry two devices with me. That's a thing of the past. With the B8200, you can have one device that does it both. Let's get into it. So during this review, we're going to look at the materials, the construction of the uh, headphones. We're going to look at fit and wear, sound quality and audio, features, and then call quality. So let's talk about the headphones just for a bit. Now, as soon as I took these out of the box and I put my hand on them, it was like, stepping into a Lexus. It was like stepping into a Mercedes Benz. It was like walking into an infinity. It was, you could really, as soon as you touch these, the premium material and the way it feels uh, is, is pretty spot on with what you would expect from a headphone at this price range. Because again, these are not cheap in any way, but they really feel like you're getting your money's worth just by touching them. And I haven't even spoken about the audio quality and all the features yet. So what you'll get is some very premium feel, a very premium looking um, headphone that is going to be used uh, for personal, for entertainment, and for business. So you have your headphones, and we'll put this over to the side so you can see what else you get. You have this travel bag, and I'll tell you, when I grab this travel bag and I put my hand inside of it, I says, yeah, this definitely feels premium. Why? It's because it has this nice material on the inside. So when you put it in, it feels so nice inside. <laughs> I know that's kind of creepy and funny, but it truly is. So it has a really nice soft material inside that's uh, going to allow you to carry your um, headphones with you. Now in the zipper that we're going to open up, there's a couple other things that are in here just I want to show you. So in addition to uh, your uh, standard cable and a micro USB charging cable, you do get this uh, Voyager 8200UC uh, 8, dongle. And this adapter that we have here is going to allow you to connect this to a PC and, or, or a Mac. It really doesn't matter. Any kind of uh, USB-based device. So if you look up at your MacBook Pro uh, and it's still the USB standard version, you'll be able to connect this to it. Or with an adapter, you could. Um, and I have some of those on my Mac. Or you could connect this uh, to your Surface Book, as I do as well. And this is going to give you the ability to uh, use this for VoIP, Skype, or any type of over-the-air through um, the internet uh, type communication. Uh, so a real nice add-on. And we're going to talk about uh, why you should use this. So now let's take a look at the headphones themselves. So the headphones are made out of premium material and they do not feel plasticky or cheap in any way. Starting from the, uh, again, the area right here where you're going to um, listen to the audio. You have a left and right indicator. You also have this uh, nice memory foam type material that makes it really comfortable to wear for extended period of time. You also have uh, the headband here as you look at this. It has this breathable material that's right here so you don't overheat so you don't really feel like you're overheating when you have uh, these on. And it does have some nice flexibility. I have worn head uh, phones in the past that kind of squeeze your head, uh, no issue here. You also then have you know this adjustment. And this is great because if you're going to travel with them, you'll want to have it like this. Or let's say you're, uh, you're wearing these and you want to talk to someone and you take them off, uh, you'll want to just turn them over. Now, if we take a look at the mics, this area right here, this is very unique. These are boomless um, headphones. And let me show you what a boomless headphone looks like, or actually a boomed headphone looks like right now. 
So this is my go-to headphone that I carry with me. Remember I said I carry two? Uh, this is my business one. This is what I use when I'm going on business trips and I want to be able to continue to communicate either with my phone or my uh, tablet or whatever type of electronic device I'm using. Uh, this uh, is a UC device. It's a Plantronics Focus. And you notice that it has this boom mic coming out. Well, this does not have uh, this boom mic, which makes it fit more in that kind of consumer, I would say, uh, entertainment device, but it really isn't. It's very misleading because it doesn't have this. So this is what I traditionally use, but this has a better mic system than this system does and has better noise canceling as well. So now looking at the mics, the, mic, the way the mics work, uh, you, if you imagine my hands being waves, uh, as you have this on and you start speaking, there are these intersecting waves that will come in and that will pick up your voice. It will eliminate, so when you think about that pattern going this way, it will eliminate all the sound that's going on around it. And we're going to do an audio test so you can hear how well these sound. But literally, I've been testing this now for about four days, and I've been in... Um, meeting centers at the airport and I've also been in an office setting and I've been using these and while you can hear some uh, noise people know that I'm in an office setting it is not like the person next to me is super duper clear and they understand every single thing that the person is saying so these are absolutely fantastic I love this design and it really makes it look much cooler than me wearing those other ones that make me look like I was a telephone operator now you do have on the bottom here a couple things you have a headphone jack you have a micro uh, USB charging port uh, over here as we flip this on this side you have active noise cancellation and the active noise cancellation gives you the ability to have uh, two settings right you have a medium and a high so the medium is good like if you're in an office setting and a high I would say if you're in a very noisy airport or on a plane and you can adjust them both on this side you have your power switch so you'll be able to turn things on and off and then here you have um, a, it's a button that actually does two things. First of all, if you're on a phone call, this is going to provide you a mute function. If you don't, if you're listening to music and someone comes up to you in an office setting or you're on the plane and you want to hear what's going on around you, you press this button and you'll be able to open the mic. And the open mic is going to allow you to hear everything that's around you. Now, here's the one thing that thoroughly impresses me with the Plantronics 8200, and that is that it does not sound mechanical at all. It doesn't sound digital in any way. So a lot of other products that I've reviewed, when you use their open mic technology, it could be digitized because you're using the mics to listen and what you're doing is getting some form of amplification uh, through the speakers that you have here. And we're gonna talk about all the specs uh, once we do the, we complete this uh, kind of overview of the headphone. So it's not digitized in any way. So this is your mute and then your open mic function as well. Now on the sides here, you do have some controls. So here you have a, uh, an action button that you'll be able to press. On this side, you have uh, play pause as well with NSV technology. And you have this dial that allows you to increase and decrease the volume. So kind of that's our walkthrough from the headphones. Let's talk about all the specs now. All right, so the Plantronics 8200 UC are 379 and I know those are high-end, that's a high price, but again, in my mind, these are two, if not three headphones in one. You're gonna look at 24 hours of listening time, and you heard that right, 24 hours. Uh, longer than you'd ever wear them on any given day. Uh, as a matter of fact, in some cases, you could go a whole week with these without having to charge them. You're gonna get 20 hours of talk time, you're gonna get one month of standby time, 30 days where you won't have to charge them. And one thing that just amazed me about these, and, and guys, I'm really psyched about these because they, they work so well, is that you can get 98 feet away from your device and still have a solid connection. I tested these and I was able to get in my home, I don't have you know 98 feet uh, of distance um, in any specific direction, but I was, I was able to get 40 feet away. I had this connected to my cell phone. I was listening uh, to an audiobook, listening to music, and I also tried this on a call. And I was able to get 40 feet away through three walls and two doors and did not lose the connection, and the connection quality did not change at all. And this, is, to me, is very amazing because this is still using Bluetooth 4.1. 
So I would have thought, wow, are they using Bluetooth 5.0 in order to get this kind of range? Uh, they're not. So whatever engineering is going on with these, it's fantastic because you could literally, I can walk my entire home and I have a multi-floor uh, unit. So I have a, it's a quad and I can actually keep a connection wherever my phone's at. So absolutely fantastic uh, Bluetooth range. Now the next thing is from an audio perspective, you have a 40 millimeter driver. So you're going to get some really good uh, experience around that. And then as we talked about when we were doing just the overall review of the unit, you have this USB dongle, which I would say is absolutely required. You can connect two ways. You can connect with your cell phone via Bluetooth, but with your PC, even though you can connect Bluetooth as well, I highly recommend you use this. The audio quality, the experience is so much more superior when doing this that, uh, that I would recommend this. The other thing is that if you have this connected to your PC or Mac and you have uh, this, uh, this connected to both your phone and this USB dongle, which happens automatically, in the event that you get an incoming call, so let's say you're listening to something on YouTube or, or a movie or you're doing some work and uh, you're on a conference call with WebEx or some Skype type solution and you get an incoming call, the headsets will automatically switch to the phone and you don't have to do anything. So you get the benefit of having two devices connected at the same time and having a rich experience with both. Now in my opening statement I talked about that these were the most advanced headphones I have tested. And the reason why I, I state that is because these are the most configurable headphones I've ever seen. You're looking at over 25 configurable settings uh, for the Plantronics 8200 uh, UC. You can configure these to fit your specific uh, lifestyle, use case, business uh, practice. Uh, huge configuration options and as you can see right now on screen there are a lot of different things that you can configure you can configure the uh, how it reacts to with the sensors uh, what kind of phones you're going to be connecting to uh, the soft phone technology you can configure um, logging um, what kind of information is being logged in these there's a plethora of features and configuration options that you can work with making these the most configurable headphones that I've ever tested on the channel now you've asked about the music quality. So how do they sound? Well, first of all, I'll say uh, they are, they have good bass. You feel it. Um, I've tested this with music that has some really nice reverb. It's definitely present. I can hear the channels flipping from channel to channel as uh, it goes through the uh, surround sound experience. The So the bass is present. It's deep. You get great mids, great highs. Um, overall, it's just fantastic music experience, especially with the uh, noise isolation and the noise cancellation. So when you put these things on, you get a great seal, very comfortable seal that doesn't overheat your ears. But at the same time, once you flip this guy on, you get an even better experience because you're, you're not competing with the outside noise. Now I will say this, this is probably the, one of the first and few headphones I've ever reviewed that when you flip the active noise cancellation or you have it plugged in via uh, the cable, that the experience is pretty consistent when it comes to the audio quality. I really struggled to hear a difference between how it sounded via Bluetooth versus how it sounded when it was connected to a cable like this versus when I had these flipped on or off. Meaning, did the bass change? Did it get deeper? Did the highs get higher? Did the mids, you know, how did things work? The experience was the same in my mind and I, and I really struggled to hear any kind of difference. So. Once again, great audio experience. And the other thing I really liked about these is that you have independent volume. So you know on your phone you can adjust the volume. Uh, well, you can adjust the volume to full blast, but then the doggled or the, the, the dial that you have here that you're able to turn up and down will control the independent volume. So literally, you can have your phone full blast and this turned down. Uh, and which means as you raise the volume, regardless of where your phone is, this is going to increase the volume. So I love being able to have that option of having that, that um, secondary control phone volume versus headphone volume. Now the one thing I will mention is that when you plug in the cable, the audio cable, uh, Bluetooth gets automatically disabled when you're connecting to it and this does work both powered and unpowered. Now obviously if it's not powered you're not going to get the active noise cancellation but if you were ever to forget to power or charge your headphones and you run out of power you're not stranded without any kind of music. You just plug in the wire and you're good to go uh, and the quality is also uh, fantastic. Uh, so the other thing that I've I found is 
that when you're using the open mic solution, and we're going to be going into uh, kind of the, the audio quality from a phone call perspective when we talk about this. When you use the open mic, you cannot listen to music and then also have the open mic at the same time. So you use the open mic in this scenario. I'm on a phone call or I'm listening to music and someone comes behind you, taps your back, and then you turn around and what you do is you press this and you'll be able to have a conversation without having to take these off. You can literally hear them and it's not digitized in any way. So now let's talk about comfort. I've worn these for over eight hours without any ear fatigue, without overheating, either you know getting sweaty up here or on the sides. Uh, the you know so the the one thing I will tell you is that sometimes people could think you're a little rude because when someone's talking to me and I don't take off my headphones, people are so used to you having to take off your headphones to have a conversation that when you keep them on, they kind of look at you kind of squirrely until you can respond to them and they go like, wow, you can hear me. And I've actually had a lot of conversations about, well, how can you hear me even though you have these things on? And I explained to them about the open mic feature. So over eight hours, easy to travel with. Uh, and for me, it simplified my life because now I just carry one headphone. Uh, and again, fatigue-free, no overheating. So now let's talk about active noise cancellation. How does that work? Active noise cancellation is great. It works really well. You don't get the sense of pressure. So there are other brands that I've reviewed that when you turn on the act active noise cancellation, I'm going to say that they have a higher degree of noise canceling, but you also then get the sense of pressure that's going on. And you don't have that feeling with this at all. Um, I would say that these are uh, good going into the great category. I wouldn't put them into the great going into outstanding when it comes to noise canceling, even at the highest levels. Uh, so there are other brands that I've tried that I thought they do a, um, a probably outstanding job when it comes to noise canceling. But once again, you're not being shortchanged, right? You're not being shortchanged at all. I just found that uh, the noise canceling wasn't uh, at par with some of the other ones that I've reviewed. Now, I will say this. Make sure that if you pick these up, you update the firmware. Uh, because I did find that once I updated the firmware, the audio experience uh, was improved from the original firmware that it had, so the bass, the travel, and the mids. And um, it's just always a good idea to upgrade them. It's, they're software upgradable. And I can tell you, having had Plantronics for many years, they do provide regular upgrades to their to their um, headphones and earpieces, uh, and which is a great thing because they're very committed to their products. All right, so now let's talk about um, just general things that I found. Uh, so the open mic, as I mentioned, works really well. Uh, it's great for starting and stopping uh, the music so you can have a conversation with someone. The multi-connect feature I love, being able to be on my uh, desktop and then switch over, or my laptop and switch over to this, uh, seamless. The multi-connect also, because you know you can pair this with multiple phones if you needed to, if you have a personal phone and a work phone. Um, and then also, one thing that I'm telling you, this is super simple, but really geeks me out. How many times have you been on a phone call talking and you're on mute and you don't know? It happens to me all the time. And I have to say on the phone call, sorry guys, I was on mute, um, you couldn't hear me. Well, if you start talking, one of the configurable settings, remember we talked about over 25 different configurable settings? One of those settings is going to tell you, as soon as you speak, it says mute is on. So it's not a mute is on message that goes on and on throughout as this is connected. It detects your voice and then it reminds you that mute is on. So you can immediately tap that button and turn it off. Hey guys, so this is my audio test of the Plantronics 8200 uh, UC. So while these are really designed to be inside, uh, walking through an office area, the airport, or even using them on the plane, whatever situation you may be in, I wanted to give you a sense of what the audio sounded like in an outdoor environment. So I do have cars you can see behind me driving by, so you can see what, how much is being picked up over there. Uh, but this is really to test uh, the kind of uh, response that you're going to get when you're in a noisy environment. Also, as you can see um, how they fit, they cover my ears really well. I like the fact that the controls are in the back. So when I want to use any of the controls, active noise cancellation, cancellation or that mute function, all I got to do is push that button right here. So I'm going to go ahead and try that. And now uh, the mute is off and you should be able to hear me. So as I turn around, you'll be able to see all the controls are right here and they're easy to find and feel. Uh, I have a hat on because I've been wearing these all day, and what's happened is my I got hat, you know, what is it, helmet hair or whatever you want to call it. So I have uh, my hair is kind of sticking up, so I put on the hat just to look a little bit more decent. So great audio quality. Let's see what they sound like, and then let me know what you think uh, in the YouTube channel of the audio. 
All right, guys, so that concludes our review of the Plantronics 8200 UC headphones. I have to say, while they're priced at $379, these are the best office headphones that I have reviewed to date, the most configurable. And um, again, I just love the fact that I don't need a boom mic. I love having something like this. Um, and just overall, the battery life is absolutely fantastic. I'd love to hear your comments in the comment area below. Let me know what you think about them and just their overall review. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and that like button. And then again, I'll see you in the next one.